Want to see something cool? Some boats are blessed with a bulbous bulge bigger than that with which I'm menacing your mom. They call them fire hose pants for a reason. You'll spot these stacked high atop the superstructure. It's a specialized housing designed to keep the weather out while still being transparent to radio waves. They're called radomes, and they come in all sizes, ranging from this little A cup here all the way up to big enough for one guy, two girls, and a furry with a camera. Inside you'll find this fucking thing. Scope and scale will vary, but it all boils down to some manner of antenna that moves. Inertia works on everything from speakers to dragsters. And if you want something to move fast, it has to be lightweight. For a tweeter to twitch with frequency as quickly as a tweaker in a freezer, it has to be tight, light, and tiny as a little twink's pink sneakers. A board a ship that's pitching and rolling, trying to aim a directional antenna at something that's the size of a minivan parked 20,000 miles away, is more of a pain in the ass and a bite from a bad dragon. Normally, they mount satellite dishes to more bass than a dead mouse concert, because dish antennas are big and catch a lot of wind. In a moderate 20 mile an hour breeze, that's over 11 pounds per square meter. In a real storm, it's easy to hit a wind load of 10 pounds per square Square foot. That's fine on a hard, but how do you do this aboard ship? Easy! You just build a stormproof housing, and tucked inside, you put a lightweight antenna and an Azel mount with an IMU. Azel is azimuth and elevation. You already know that elevation is up and down, so I'll bet you can figure azimuth out all on your own. I knew you could. An IMU is an inertial measurement unit. This one not only measures acceleration so that it can compensate for the movement of the waves, it has a magnetometer so that it can compensate for the navigational movements of the boat. Altogether, it's compensating more than a guy with a Corvette, hair plugs, and a participation trophy wife young enough to unironically call him daddy, and that's pretty cool. 